My name is Nathan Simmons, the head coach at the Atlanta School of Gymnastics. I've been working here since 1985 and trying to make kids the best they can be. My top gymnast now is David Jacobs. Nathan Simmons has coached me to a state title and I'm going to be an Olympian someday. David Jacobs best event is high bar. He's pretty good on pearl bars as well. In 2007, we won the state championships. Let's give it up for Nancy Tucker. Nice work. You know, this sport is so complex. You can't, you can't lie. You can't cheat. You can't be lazy, and expect to get better. The results will show it. If you work out and you slack off the entire time, you can see your skill, your skill level. To be a good gymnast, it takes a lot of dedication. A lot of dedication from the gymnast and from the parents, and a lot of patience. Patience is probably the most important thing because it takes a long time to learn things, and sometimes it does not come easy. My name is Torrance Lowry, and I've trained with Nathan Simmons at the Atlanta School of Gymnastics for about 10 years. Under Nathan's guidance, I've accomplished many of the goals that I set for myself. Uh, for example, I've competed at the U.S. National Championships, and also, in 2002, I qualified for the Junior Olympic National Team, which was a huge personal achievement for me. He actually graduated from a top law school, and he had the opportunity to be a full-time lawyer, but instead decided to devote most of his time to helping young gymnasts like me to accomplish our goals and to be the best we can be. My brother Justin and I both trained with Nathan for many years, and he has helped us both earn gymnastic scholarships to the University of Michigan. Back in 1987, I uh, was diagnosed with astrocytoma, which is like a star-like tumor in the back of my head. It couldn't be removed because it has fingers, so I uh, went through um, some treatment for it, radiation treatment for, for nine weeks. It was a hard time for me. I was young and I didn't want to give up. My coach was a guy named Bob Boudreau, and I've known Bob Boudreau since I was, God, 15 years old. You know, he's one of the guys who helped me through a lot of things. My dad was sick, my mom was sick, and I was sick, and you know, the tumor and everything. He was, he was there for me, you know, in every single way. He's probably my best friend, and probably always would be. I got mugged by gunpoint when I was, when I was younger. Um, and uh, it had a big effect on me as far as like helping kids out. I didn't want the kids I trained to be like those kids that bug me. I was walking out with some friends of mine and you know, out of a bar and these guys pulled up next to us in a car and they had guns and they put us ladies on the ground and put a gun in my head and it sort of freaked me out. It sort of just made me mad at the end. So I thought I can be like anybody else and not do anything, but, or I can have some sort of impact on society by coaching kids and try to make them better people. I mean, I, I see a lot of people out there that actually, you know, they may get mugged or have, or see kids on the streets doing bad things and they just sort of just walk away from it. That's not what I want my kids to be like. I want them to be decent, respectful people and, you know, and have a lot of pride in what they do and do good things. And it's really good to see when you're, when you're training kids that they remain in the sport and they, and they coach themselves and they try to give something back to society. My students have, uh, have continued the sport, gymnastics and coaching. One guy that I trained named Spencer Slayton, he's, he's my assistant coach. He was a, uh, a national champion four times. He received a full ride to UCLA Gymnastics. I taught Patrick Kersey for a year. He's known to be a great judge throughout the country. He's also a great gymnast. He was a national champion back in 1985, all-around champion, NCAA national champion. He was also on the world championship team in 1988, which is top of the top. I just hope they walk out of sport feeling like they actually learned that life's not easy. And you gotta work hard to be successful.